Well, welcome once again to VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com. This time, um, I'm going to do a quick uh, oil service on a BMW 320D. Okay, uh, diesels are uh, so much uh, more popular nowadays and uh, basically uh, we're just going to be doing a, 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 a simple oil change here so we're just going to take off this cover which basically clips off okay um, as you can see it's got two points that basically pushes into units at the back there and then you've got these little round knobs here that goes into these um, uh, grommets okay that basically holds that cover on okay that's one cover and then there is another cover which we need to take off the underbelly cover it takes no less than 19 little screws that holds this cover on it's made of plastic anyway so those are the self tapping screws with size 8 heads okay so we have to remove that to access the sump plug all right i suppose we don't have to but i i prefer it otherwise it messes you know when the oil drains so we basically this is a, a sort of acoustic uh, um, material that's on top here i won't be taking that off because i don't need to okay um that is where we are going to be taking out the oil filter okay it is a cartridge type oil filter and then of course um, the stuff that we're going to be using the customer supplied his own oil and filters okay so uh, I had no choice in the in the make here but anyway he prefers liquid molly you know we're using a 5w40 which is a full synthetic oil there um, we're using a male um, oil filter OX361 stroke uh, 4d okay and of course I recommended the Spaniard blush and then he also insisted on a new uh, sump washer uh, well a complete sump plug with new washer okay so those are the parts that we're going to be uh, uh, sticking in so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flush this engine right let's familiarize ourselves with a BMW thing. but anyway um, this is what it looks like inside it's got dark interior okay so it obviously doesn't show dirt that easily it's got quite a big dashboard over here you know you've got your normal clocks uh, you know your speedo on the left um, you know your uh, rev counter on the right and then you have economy meters and things like that down at the bottom um, you have your uh, you know your uh, fuel gauge I don't see a temperature gauge all right it is a button start okay um it's got a little radio entertainment area there um it is a uh, automatic uh lever handbrake um you know and then of course it's got uh, uh, controls on the door for the windows and controls on the steering for bluetooth and the radio controls and so forth okay so push button start obviously foot on the brake you know you put your your key in and uh, if you basically take your key out that's what your key looks like okay your fob so you put it into that slot over there and when you put it into that slot then it's basically um, the ignition is uh, basically on you can switch the ignition on without putting your foot on the brake okay and then of course the ignition will go on to check out all the warning lights and things like that and when you want to start all you need to do you need to put your foot on the brake pedal and then push the, the start button again and the, and the car will start okay all right let's get the flush in um we undo the oil filler cap now what beauty of these oil filler caps you cannot take it off okay so you can't lose it okay and then we'll take our uh, flush and we get our, our flush all forward in there all right 375 more with a flush uh, we'll get our uh, timer ready we're going to uh, be using a 15 minute timer okay so with that flush all poured into the engine over there okay we'll put her on a uh, we'll just get that cap back securely 
all right and then we will put it on a uh, 15 minute timer over here all right which we will start now we'll start that 15 minute timer get the car started So I'll get back to you when that 15 minutes has expired. Okay, so after a 15 minute plus, uh, we shall drain the well. Um, we'll get that sump plug loosened up with a socket and a ratchet or a spanner, whichever you prefer. If we can turn it by hand the rest of the way, we'll take off the sump plug and let that oil drain okay so with the oil at the trickle we are on top of the engine again okay we are here for the we are here to take off the oil filter okay oil filter cartridge so we use a size 32 socket okay we loosen that up all the way okay uh, until we can loosen it by hand so on the bench we have the filter, we'll just pull the cartridge out, okay, you can see the one end there, and the other end has got what I call a little pipi, which is a guide pipi that must go into the, into the bottom part of the filter, okay, so I think the best way to do this would be to put this filter in first, okay, so that we get that into the proper place, alright. So let's just open up what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this a wash, okay, and I'm going to replace that filter. Um, I will be replacing that o-ring there, okay, which will should be coming in the kit. So that's the old filter with the old rubber, okay. I'm going to give that unit a clean out, and then let's take a look and see if we do have the correct filter. Okay, it looks correct. It has a little pee, pee as I said. Okay, and then that does give us, uh, you get an extra sump washer there. And then of course you get your, um, your o-ring. Okay, the o-ring for the cover. But let's go and get that cover washed out first. So with that unit nicely cleaned out, okay. We shall take a brand new o-ring rubber, we'll put it on and what I like to do with these, I like to use a little bit of rubber grease, okay, just to lube up that uh, o-ring so that o-ring doesn't, doesn't stick, okay, when we put it in, alright, just a nice, a nice form of that, that washer can go into storage. And then of course we have our, uh, our sump washer, okay, new sump plug with a brand new washer, okay. And what I like to do is put a little bit of threading tape on the sump washer, okay, so that we have that little extra bit of seal, okay, it just helps to seal that sump off, that sump nut off correctly okay so there we are ready to go let's go and get this fork to put it quickly so inside this unit you can see there is a hole there okay is that hole over there okay where I'm sticking the screws out there that hole is where I think we'd have that little peepee -pee go in okay so we'll put that in we'll twist it until I feel that that peepee -pee falls into the hole there we go okay so I can't twist it anymore all right so now we will take our top we'll put our top on and we we'll screw our top down 
we just get the thread going there. Pee pee in the hole. And then you can put the top on afterwards. Okay, and you will feel the whole thing just come together. Alright, so we've got that torque down to 25 Newton meters. And now we can go put the sump plug back on. Okay, so we are going to be putting in our new sump plug there. Okay, new sump plug, new washer, a little bit of threading tape to up seal. Okay, so they basically have a, uh, a unit inside the sump over here, okay, which tells you whether you're low on oil or not. Okay, so let's just give that a good old wipe. Something. Once we get our car started, we're going to be checking for leaks. Okay, so we'll start out with 5 litres because this car takes 6.2 litres of oil. And then another 1.2, which will go in. And then we could quite safely start this car. And then we will start the car. Okay, we look at the sump. The sump is nice and dry, and it looks like the whole engine is pretty dry. Okay, no leaks there. Let's go to the top and check uh, the filter. So with the filter housing, you can see that it's pretty dry up there as well. Okay, no leaks. Well, so I have the beam leveled out, down on the ground. I don't know if any of you noticed, but I have myself a new floor. It doesn't have those little, it doesn't have the pattern on. So there's no restriction to my jack, well, you know, and my creeper when I roll around on the floor over here. And, uh, you know, it's a slightly thicker tile which I used. So uh, hopefully it'll last a little bit longer, but I've had that other floor on for quite a while. I didn't have to replace it, but I just thought, you know, let's replace it and uh, see the difference. And I got to say, there is a, a remarkable difference. Uh, it slides, you know, your things with wheels on slides a lot easier <laughs> so yeah that's a new floor back to the bmw got it down on the ground i'll get that cover back on quickly so the car actually does have a dipstick it's just open a take her out here see uh, what kind of um, how much oil we have in there okay so it's showing it's showing full Okay, and look how nice and clean that oil is. Oh, my hands are dirtier than the oil. All right, cover back on. Wiped off all our grease marks and hand marks and dirt marks. So yes, thanks once again for joining me at VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com where we basically did the BMW 320 diesel. We just did a quick oil change over there. Um, I'd like to thank you for subscribing, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, for the thumbs up, uh, please post comments below, you know, I really always love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to press the notification uh, bell button at the bottom so that you get notified of all the new videos. Uh, I am a fast approaching 20,000 subscribers, okay, that's basically earned, okay, I don't buy subscribers. I earn it, okay, by turning out quality video. Um, uh, don't forget also, uh, you know, that um, super thank you button uh, below each video. Uh, I see people haven't really been using it, so I don't know if they're not appreciating my content, you know, because I really hate to make this a paid channel. But, you know, if I don't get any, mo any movement on donations, people are helping me out, then I might have to very well look at um, you know, um, uh, monetizing the channel and getting people to pay a subscription to, to see the videos, you know. Um, but I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you for joining me anyway. This is Gary Dela Cruz from VehicleMaintenanceAndRepairs.com. I'll see you with the next one. Cheerio.